Okay, so here we go again. Uh, we're gonna this time we're gonna find perimeter and area of a complex figure. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find perimeter of this figure. So we need to add up all the sides. So let's take a look at all the sides here. We have ten. It's this whole side here. Plus four, plus seven, plus five. So we have all the sides of the perimeter. So let's just add that up. So we're gonna add four plus seven plus five plus ten and if you add that all up that will equal twenty six oops twenty six oh that's what I said okay so that equals twenty six centimeters So we'll write that here for the perimeter. Okay. Now area, a little different story here. Now when we find the area, okay, we're gonna have to do separate objects here first, or separate the separate figures. So I like to start with the rectangle first. And if we remember the formula to find an area of a rectangle, it is base times height. So first we've got to find the base. Now here's where you can get confused. 10 centimeters is down here at the base, but that's from this point all the way to this point here. Okay, so that's not the total base. What I want to do is first look up here. This is 7 centimeters from here to here. So this down here at this base should be 7 centimeters. So I'm just going to write that in there so I don't get confused. So if this is 7 centimeters and this is a total of 10 from this point to this point, that means from this point here to this point here will be the difference which is three centimeters. Okay, so let's find the area here. So seven is the base times the height, which is the line perpendicular to the base, so seven times four equals twenty eight. So for the rectangle, okay, the area is 28 okay, square centimeters. And now for this right triangle here, we're going to do the same thing. Base times height divided by 2. So I know the base is 3. Now I don't have anything here for the height. But I know if this side of the rectangle is 4 centimeters, well this also right here has to be 4 centimeters. So I multiply... 4 times 3 equals 12. Then I still need to divide by 2 because for the formula for a triangle area is base times height divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2 and that equals 6. So I know the area of this triangle is 6. So if I add the area of the rectangle and the triangle together, okay, so that is 28 plus 6, okay, that would equal, you guessed it, 34. Okay, so the area here is 34 square centimeters.